This project popped out during the time when NFT in 2021 actually blew up. And when NFT blew up, one of the things that creators faced was the issue of market play. Origin protocol with this idea of helping creators create their own marketplace where they will not have to compete with other creators and they get to keep 100% of their commissions, of their sales. The crypto world is filled with scammers and everyday new projects are popping out. The thing about this is so many projects have taken the advantage of launching their NFTs and remember that Origin even makes it easier for other industries to flood the crypto world true nfts now any project real estate whatever you do entertainment whatever it is you create can be turned into nft as long as it's a product that people can buy and you can interact one-on-one -on -one with your buyers directly through your own marketplace that will be relaunched for you through the ogn origin protocol now one thing about this i fell for it because i saw that this was an opportunity to expand crypto awareness especially to creators and bringing more industry into this industry welcome to machiavelli traders where you get everything unlocked when it comes to your crypto trading potential nothing will be left unturned <laughs> Take your OGN and you get almost like 100% return on all your investment. Remember, the commission that goes to the stakes are coming from the fees. 100% of all the fees goes to those who stake their OGN. So it's multiple win-win situation. But the problem I have with this coin is that since I got in, in May 2020, the coin has been dumping. Literally, this coin has broke every hand support I know of. And today, I want to dive deeper. I want to put on my investigation suit and dive into the fundamental analysis because why I have been recommending OGN on this particular channel, I have never taken the time to look at what the whales are doing. And in crypto, 2022 taught me a great lesson, both fundamental analysis and technical analysis. Why my fundamental analysis is not the same way others do it, neither is my technical analysis. The eaters can and I'm interested in the blockchain, in knowing what has been going on in this blockchain. Because if I know how the money moves, then I can determine how to eat easily. If you can't beat them, you join them. So we have to ride this wheel. But if you want to ride a wheel, you have to first of all identify the wheel, identify the movement so that you will not counter trade and jump trailer. Eater Scan Network tells us so much about this token. We have about 1 billion OGN token as max total supply and holders currently is 44,432 holders. There has been an increase of 0.007% on the holder part and about 478,827 total transfer has gone on on this particular token. Fully diluted market cap would have like $72.826 million approximately and $36.620885 million dollars approximately as the circulatory supply as well so if you look at this token you know that our main goal is the will so we're going to focus on the holders and see what the holders are i want to know who is the highest holder on this blockchain using etascan and etascan is telling me the highest holder right now is around 42.8 percent what is the activity of these holders can i capitalize on riding this holder is this something i can trust is it a holder or a trader because one thing about this wallet is based on their activities you cannot tell who is actually a strong hand holder you can track or a weak hand trader you can actually also take advantage and make use of the warnings that they send us so when it comes to this particular holder this wallet on eta's can is origin dollar multi-sync multi-sync wallets are wallets that require multiple private keys to sign before a transaction transfer can occur on the account now the thing about this is it's like an added security to the wallet that it requires more than two people to sign this see it like a joint account whereby you're going to require two 
private keys, signatures, to be able to access ETH Explorer and look at the holders, you see that this wallet doesn't have a name here. It's just showing us the wallet address. Now looking at this wallet, whoa. The first thing that attracted my attention was the out, 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 out. Like, what the heck? You mean you've been dumping what I have been buying? So if I look closely, I also see that the last transaction occurred 396 days ago. And do you know the funny thing about this transaction? Telling you the first thing we should take note is that a whale that is holding 42% is dormant. It's not making moves. Means this account is having plans. A sign that something is dormant, a good holder. But this account has the capacity of dumping the coin. So let's try to see how this account has manipulated the market in the past to see the chances this account can have on influencing this market if there's any further move in the future based on the previous transfer and transaction it has carried out. If we go to the very beginning of this particular account, we see that the first transaction, was it a test and run? <laughs> it's more like send one OGN, send back one OGN. And that was about 734 days in 19 hours ago, 2021 June. This account started its first test and run and finally made its real deposit well. You can smell it mm. on 2021 July. That is a heavy inflow of tokens into this account. Then this account really, it doesn't dispose its coin at once. No, they disposed it gradually. So I want to first of all check what happened July 2021. This bull went in with about 668 million worth of OGN. So we have one match. So we're going to look at what happened in March 2022. And again, this same way disposed again right here. So what are the coincidences? The real big, big disposal that happened on this coin happened here. So the last disposal that really took place from this coin did take place around because I'm curious how this whale has been moving and crashing this coin. And funny enough, it was in the same May 2022 that I started buying when they made their final dump to this particular support, 0.15 support, 1.4. That is when I started buying, right? But unfortunately for me, this particular whale, that was their last dumping. And ever since they dumped that last dump, which crashed the coin, right? It crashed. And you can see the crashing of the coin has been gradually reduced since this will stop dumping the velocity of moving down has decreased the next will before i can conclude that there is an accumulation or distribution going on so the next will is the name is binance 8 that's the name of the wallet it's holding like 12.977 percent of this coin on Itascan to dive in and break down what the transfer transactions held by this token can i trust this will that is something i can track and follow up with if i look at this account it looks like it is an account that is quite active right because i can see the analytics account so i'm going to look at the transfer if the transfer is very recent good beautiful so i am seeing a much 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 active wallet here so this wallet last transfer was 24 days ago it was around 24 days 21 hours ago and this transfer was an out transfer a trader like account because you can see 56 days ago 67 days ago the transfer is more frequently like and i'm quite impressed about the amount of coins that are coming in compared to the amount of coins that are going out so you see this coin this particular whale in this period of time that was during 2023 mind you everything in this account is happening all in 2020 2020 was the first time this account made a move so this particular account has been a strong hand on OJ, you can see their transaction has been quite huge. So this account is quite a whale to take note of and track because it is constantly moving in and out of OGN. I want to see the accumulation that has been going on on this particular account since the last dump of the last whale. The last whale last dump was May 2022. So from May 2022, how much has this account accumulated? How much has come into this account and how much has left into this account? will give me a good reasonable overview of what i am looking at so if i look at um when the dump actually happened you see that this account has been quite in 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 this account has been buying the dump this account has been buying the dump especially since the move that happened 395 days ago or so 
the last whale made his move and you can see this account they literally made a lot of buy during those dump in 2022 right starting from here you can see this account has a buy buy out you can see the main accumulation of this coin started somewhere around 2023 immediately january 2022 Three, this account started accumulating back to back to back to back look at this the account was gradually buying in 2023 this is good news because we have lesser out going out of this account good increase good tracking and we see this account has been doing a lot of accumulating buy when you want to buy in crypto don't just jump in you have ten thousand dollars and you say you want to buy ten thousand dollars of worth of coin at once that is not how these whales operate if they have ten thousand dollars worth of coin they split it they don't mind buying five five hundred dollars on each available opportunity or one thousand dollar or any amount until they exhaust the entire ten thousand dollars then they go ahead and start dumping gradually this is how how this will move and this is why i personally i have learned to force myself to trade gradually by buying incrementally or shorting incrementally according to how the whales move if you can't beat them what you join them so that is the second account on the other hand the third largest holder is actually having 6.6631 percent and the name on this wallet is origin story staking series so this looks like hmm, the names implies like either an app or something that offers staking i would like to know more so i'm going to jump in and see what transaction if it's a staking wallet oh this is going to be interesting because when people are staking they are what accumulating is a staking wallet you can see beautiful the first thing i'll take note of is how much people are staking i see a lot of the more people are interested in staking their coin that they are on staking so which means more people are buying than more people are selling so you can see more ins than out and if i go i want to see what has happened in the entire of 2023 ins than out in 2023 so you take notice of how people are literally buying on every opportunity and staking it on the second this is a third large just wallet on the entire of OGN transactions are public so we're seeing the entire wallets of what is going on so you see more people are staking I am quite happy the fact that more people are holding their coins and if you know one thing about staking staking will require to hold your coin at least minimum of a month in fact some is minimum of three months depending on the platform you chose to stake your old ogn so by 2025 there will be a rebound especially after the btc halving we're going to see a rebound by most of this old compound mind you so now that we understand the fundamental analysis of ogn and we see that clearly there is accumulation going on and most importantly the staking the fact that i see a lot of people are interested in that so right now what i'm seeing is the first thing that attracted me we're going to start with the weekly chart is the belt hold right so i see a a possible belt hold that is occurring right here now what this belt hold will do is likely give og an opportunity to pull up at least pull up first to 0 0.08 right to pull up to 0 0.08 now that belt hold is first of all the thing you will note is that the belt hold is an inside bar and you know inside bar tend to cause sideways range market right because it's a sign that if this inside bar is occurring on weekly chart it means the daily chart is on range four hours is on range so what we are seeing is this range is likely going to bring a lot of drama to this belt hold because they will try to break to the upside then they will meet 0 0.078 to 0 0.08 remember it is still at 0 0.073 now this will likely bring a reaction down at least they will get a reaction report because one thing you must know in range is that every chances or opportunity price gets is trying to break out and of course the same price will force this breakouts to fail because these buyers want to get out these sellers wants to get out but everybody cannot get out at the same time only one will get out so there will be a drag back and forth whoever makes it out will be dragged down and dragged back instantly unless you have enough force to withstand the force of whoever is dragging you down and in the case of the bulls they are trying to make it above the inside baby bar but of course you know that won't be easy so even if they get to 0.8 0.08 to 0.05 they will likely still drag them down from if this drag proceed because of the sell-off that has been on this coin for a long time this drag could literally tell take them to visit 
that 0.06 hopefully they don't break below it because we really need to see a bounce and it's due on this coin but who knows who can say time is filled in, in crypto anything can happen so we stay open-minded the most important thing is to use money management and buy incrementally you will use the opportunity to buy more when price drop lower so as i am talking to you right now there's an expectation based on the empty pandora's box that we could at least be visiting the inner boxes and exploring what is likely happening the first target like i will really see og and really going to according to the mtm pandora's but like i say is 0.1 it's a very important range in fact starting from 0.0 09 they will start reacting to that resistance until they get to 0.1 they could range so uh, resistance or 0.11 so 0.099 is important to make it to 0.1 and if they make it to 0.1 and pull back and likely they could still pull back to all the way to this 0.7 to 0.0.8 to 0.7 six range so once they pull back it will extend depending on the volatility i can't tell you i can tell you what i see but i can only tell you to an extent because price needs to get there and i see the reaction before i can say much on that so i expect them to pull up to at least 0 0.1 for the meantime another reason why this 0 0.1 is very likely possible is if i draw the sellers line you see the current sellers line is likely expecting price to push to this particular Point. so you can see the first rejection is the seller's line i anticipate if i'm to use seller's line in this situation so you see the seller's line will be attacked very soon and this seller's line is exactly the first place i expect the re uh, reaction which is around the price of in fact that same exact 0 0.0.09 but at least you start seeing reaction from 0 0.08 right so that is our first target mini target this is like a, a small bag for us to add or take some profit and add more but i do see a pullback because um this move up could extend based on the weekly chart it could extend but there's no promises if the bulls really accumulate like i said any will can change what is happening by just moving good amount of coin especially the ones we're already having if they buy more coin if more coins tends to come into this market especially that guy that has been holding that has not touched the entire wallet since um 2022 this entire wallet like i said has no move is that guy should move money we will likely see a move on ogn and most importantly if they could buy 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 is what i want to see so if they could buy we could see a move and the target if extended could be heading to 0 0.16 that is because it's inside the box and we could be going out but before we get to that target just get ready it's likely going to take time and it could take us to november december time before we see that move right so we're going to struggle a lot with 0 0.1 and who knows they could get here but but again if you're buying on a long term and you're joining us on a long term is a good opportunity to buy more now and stake i remember bitcoin gorilla so this is what i see on ogn remember if you want to track this will you can't track them if you don't know what they are doing so come on subscribe click the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i send the next analysis if you have any analysis you want me to do in such way and break down the wheel because you're worried you don't understand what is going on on the coin just drop it in the comment section and i will do justice to the coin remember this is no financial advice this is just me sharing my honest view thank you for watching you work for it. it's only worth it if you work for it i won't stop till they hear me now i won't stop till i wear the crown